Everyone's owned a doll of some kind, but some dolls aren't all what they seem. Some hold spirits of the deceased. Some of said dolls go undetected, but some are a little more obvious, such as the tale of Annabelle, for example. She's well known for her hauntings, so much so they made a movie of her. Of course the movie takes things to the extreme, but that doesn't mean the Annabelle's original story isn't anything less than terrifying. I'm still recovering from my investigation with Annabelle, and all of a sudden, like in the movies, the skies just turn black, they're rumbling, and then boom, lightning strike strikes a pole, a light pole, right where my car is and leaves a huge gash on the light. If I wasn't around that doll, would that have happened? And while it was on display at the uh, occult museum that Ed and Lorraine have, uh, somebody went in there and was antagonizing Annabelle and then ended up getting into a motorcycle accident on the way home, and I believe he died. People have been affected by her just by touching her, so they don't let anyone touch her. I mean, who wants to risk that? People all over the world are buying haunted dolls from various websites, such as eBay, Amazon, Depop, and many others. Collectors tend to sell their old dolls from their collections, as they just simply can't look after them anymore, hoping to give them better homes. Examples include this doll found on an eBay listing, Twisty the Clown, and no, not the one for American Horror Story. The seller informs possible buyers that this doll has positive energy and was a circus clown in his past life. He mostly communicates through pencil tests and a Ouija board. Most dolls on these websites have positive energies. Only very few have bad energies surrounding them. You seriously think this doll is possessed, do you? I wouldn't necessarily say possessed, but there is, it, it's, it has got something. It wasn't actually a charity shop, it was like one of these second-hand shops. Antique. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the day he woke up with scratches on him. Well, I literally woke up in the morning, um, I had my shower as normal, and then I felt a burning sensation on my leg. And I looked down, and there was a lot of scratches all over my knee. There must have been a, a dozen or 15 or so, but they looked like cat scratches. So bring this doll home, and I will just say right off the bat, it felt intrusive. Like when you would walk into the living room, I would pass from like the bedroom to the living room to the kitchen to get a drink and it just caught you off guard and it gave you a weird feeling, you know? Then I started to like get into arguments with people that I don't normally argue with. It was just like all of a sudden I brought this thing home and it felt like it was just a amount of negativity in my life and like I would walk around the doll and I would not get good feelings. It would feel like cold, creepy, just kind of make your skin like ugh, like just give you heebie-jeebies, goosebumps, not a good feeling. Once again, family, friends, people on planet earth just all had the same like ugh, like kind of reaction you know and i felt like literally ever since i brought that doll into my life it's just been like crazy negative things i feel like my mood has just been like ugh, like not good and i've never had another object that i brought home into my life that immediately i regretted it like literally as soon as i brought that doll into the house i regretted it and it was like a you did not just make a smart choice. That's the kind of feeling that I was getting. With all this to say, be careful with the dolls you have laying around your house because you just never know. If suspicious activity seems to occur, don't just pass it off as a weird coincidence or the wind because there could be something much more worse lurking around your house.